Hi everybody and welcome to the review of Panasonic 65DX900E in 65 inch screen size. The X900 is a flat screen UHD LED LCD TV in 2016 lineup, also available in 58 inch screen size. Current price in the UK for 65 inch model is around £4,700 and for 58 inch is around £2,000. The X900 is a flagship LCD TV in company's lineup this year combining premium build quality and unique design with high quality picture. Panasonic is saying that this model has been tuned in collaboration with Hollywood colorists, delivering picture which is true to original intentions of the filmmakers. The X900 is THX and UHD Premium certified, has new Studio Master HCX Plus processor, ultra bright panel, 3000 Hz backlight motion rate and is equipped with local dimming ultra technology. TV has direct LED backlight with control over 512 individual zones to deliver high contrast images. TV is part of art and interior series with unique stand design and robust metal frame around the screen. Build quality is excellent and it is clear that Panasonic was not aiming at ultra thin bezel and lightweight stand with this TV. Panel itself weighs 34.5 kilos and together with stand, total weight is 42.5 kilos. To fit modern furniture, TV is angled at approximately 5 degrees when mounted on its stand, with no option for adjustment. Overall depth of the TV without stand is at max 6.4 cm, mainly due to direct LED backlight and also 6 cooling fans to keep all those LEDs from overheating. There are 4 HDMI's and 3 USB's at the back of the TV, together with other typical connection options. I like cable holders at the back and also plastic cover which hides area with the connectors. Panasonic is supplying two remote controls, both with metal front faces and good ergonomics. I prefer the big one because of its high build quality and all the necessary buttons arranged in typical Panasonic fashion. I also like button illumination which makes it handy in dark room environment. Panasonic is using Firefox OS on all of its 2015 and 2016 UHD smart TVs. I like flexibility and looks of the platform, especially the home menu in which you can put any app, TV program or website link and arrange them to your liking. Hope Panasonic will improve the platform with UHD resolution and new features very soon. I spoke about picture quality in a separate calibration video, so here I will only mention the main points. TV delivers one of the best picture quality I've seen on any LED LCD TV up to date. Thanks to excellent picture processing, great upscaling to UHD resolution, uniform panel and rich colors. TV can display a lot of details even with standard definition content and upscaling of standard Blu-ray to native UHD resolution is so good that you can often mistake it for being a true UHD content. Despite having LEDs behind the entire screen, screen uniformity is excellent and dirty screen effect is barely noticeable. Together with 120Hz panel and black frame insertion, motion blur is well controlled and it did not distract me when watching content. Still, I need to mention that on test patterns I could see sometimes longer trails behind the objects and more pronounced blur when scenes were dark. Another thing I find to be perfectly done on DX900 is how movie content is displayed. Compared to Korean competitors, this TV displays smoother 24p content that is more relaxing to watch and all this without soap opera effect. Of course, if you like movies to look like TV shows, you can also adjust the picture that way. Local dimming greatly improves contrast of the image and I've found that at minimum setting it was set optimal. Some detail crush could be observed on specific scenes like night sky, but overall result was very positive. Limiting elements in regards to picture quality are the viewing angles and reflective screen. Since TV is using Super MVA panel to achieve high native contrast, viewing angles are limited and you can only get great image quality if you see directly in front of the screen. Even coming very close to the screen will make edges of the image less saturated than area in the center, which might be a deal breaker for those who plan to use this TV as a monitor. Glossy screen is something I do not like, especially on premium TV like this one. It is just too distracting when you watch content even in moderately lit room. Hope Panasonic will improve this with new TVs. 
I saw three UHD HDR movies on DX900 and I really enjoyed how they look. TV has UHD premium certificate and can display bright image across the entire screen, together with wide color gamut and natural looking gradations. Watching scenes from Batman vs Superman on UHD Blu-ray, I was amazed with how energetic the picture looks, without any loss of luminance as is the case with HDR OLED or washed out picture on Edge LED LCD TVs. If you're looking for a great TV to watch HDR content and you do not mind its limited viewing angles, DX900 is the way to go. Gaming on DX900 was a solid experience thanks to quite low input lag of 36.8 milliseconds, great colors and upscaling of low resolution content. I had fun playing action games on this TV and did not notice input lag affecting my gameplay. Finally, TV has solid sound quality with wide soundstage, clear midtones and a touch of low frequencies. I still prefer the sound of LG's E6 OLED TV, but in both cases I recommend investing in external audio system. To conclude, Panasonic DX900 is one of the best LCD TVs on the market today that delivers beautiful images for both SDR and HDR content. Picture after calibration was of reference quality and so was movie watching experience. If you will sit directly in front of the TV or under a small angle, DX900 is an excellent high-end choice. On the other hand, if you want excellent picture quality from any distance or angle, my recommendation goes towards LG's OLED TVs. Thanks for watching.